Hi, and welcome to Majestic.cloud. My name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to talk about a very powerful Route 53 feature called Private Hosted Zones. So what are Private Hosted Zones? These are, as the name suggests, hosted zones that are private. That means that they only work within your VPC. So let's say you create a private hosted zone for the domain name called majestic.local. You do not even have to own the domain name. It could be almost anything. So you create the hosted zone and assign it to a specific VPC. That domain name can only be accessed from within that VPC. You cannot access it from the public internet. But why would you want to use such a domain name? Well, there could be many use cases, but for me the most frequent use case is when I want to have a private domain name behind which I put my database server. So, let's say I want to access my database from an EC2 instance. Usually you would access it through the host name or endpoint name of the database server, which looks like this. But what if you want to later switch out the database server with another one? because you upgraded or something and you then need to update the database host on your EC2 instance in the code base. If you only have one instance, that is easy. But what if you have tens or even hundreds of instances? You could automate this, of course. But I think it's better to use a private hosted zone and abstract away the database behind the private domain name. This is helpful also if you have multiple environments like development, testing, production, and you want to use just one database host name instead of needing to change it every time. So how does this work? Well, it's easy. You define a CNAME record in your private hosted zone, let's say db.majestic.local, and use this to point to the real host name of your database. Sounds complicated? Trust me, it is not. I'm going to show you how to do this. In my demo, I'm going to use an EC2 instance on which I want to install WordPress by using such a private domain name for the database host. Of course, we will also need a database instance. For this, we will use RDS and the private hosted zone. But let's not waste the time. Let's see this in action. I will start with the creation of the uh, database instance because this takes the longest so let's click on create database and here I will want to choose um, MariaDB and dev test here okay then here I will leave almost everything the default I will just need to add the password Okay, I will use a burstable instance, a T3 micro, uh, this will suffice. Then let's see some other options. I will use the default VPC in which I will also set up my uh, private hosted zone. And also for the security group, I will use the default security group in which I already configured some permissions. And here at the additional configuration, I will need want to set a uh, initial the database name this will be wordpress db okay then let's not enable automatic backups don't enable enhanced monitoring and then just click on create database and let's go to ec2 instances i have two terminated terminated instances here uh, from my previous tests, I will launch a new instance. It will be an Amazon Linux tool. And here I want to use um, T2 Micro. Okay, next configure instance details. Here, the only thing I, I will do, I will add the startup script. What uh, this will do, it will install the HTTPD server also PHP 7.4, it will download WordPress automatically and copy it to my uh, server's root directory and then it will restart the HTTP server. 
Next click on add storage, then add tax and configure security group. Here I want to use my existing default security group, uh, which I uh, already have some configuration in. So it allows HTTP access uh, from an anywhere on port 80 and SSH on port 22 from everywhere. I will need to add uh, some other uh, permissions for MySQL, but we'll do that uh, later. Let's click on review and launch. Click on launch. I will proceed without a key pair because if I want to connect to the instance, I will use EC2 instance connect to connect to this instance. I have created a video about that uh, a few weeks ago. I will link it uh, to this video as well. So click on launch instances and then go to view instances. And while this launches, I will go to the security groups and I want to edit my uh, default security group and uh, on the inbound rules, I want to edit inbound rules and allow MySQL access. So MySQL Aurora uh, from the security group itself. So this one, let's click on save. Okay. And now I will go to Route 53 and here I will go to Hosted Zones or here and uh, I already have two Hosted Zones which are public. I will create a private Hosted Zone. It will be majestic.local and this will be private. And here I need to choose my uh, region, which is US East 1. And the VPC will be the default VPC. So my private hosted zone and this domain name will only work in this VPC. So resources in this VPC can access it. Let's click on create hosted zone. And now I will go to RDS and here my instance is still creating. I will pause the video until this finishes creating. So my instance finalized the creation process. I will click it and uh, fetch from here the endpoint URL, which is this one. Let's click on copy. Then go to route 53 in my private hosted zone. And I want to create a new record, which will be db.majestic.local. This will be a C name. And for the value, I will paste here the URL of my uh, database. And then I will create on, I will click on create re record. And now I want to go to EC2. And here I have my instance. I will copy the IP address and open this uh, up. So as you can see, I already have WordPress uh, downloaded uh, here and everything installed. Uh, I did this with that uh, startup script in the user data section. And now I will click on continue. And what I need to fill in here is the database name, which I've set as WordPress DB, the default uh, database name on, of the RDS instance. Then the username will be admin and I will put in here the password which I s I've set. So this is not a very clever password, but this is what I set. And the database host will be dbmajestic.local and table prefix will be that one suggested. And I will click on submit and I will run the installation. I will need to fill in some details. Let's say um, majestic site, username majestic, password, let's do this one, and the email will be hello at majestic.cloud and click on install WordPress. And this should work. I will click on no. Let's click on login and let's see if it works. It works just fine. If I go to 
the root I have uh, WordPress installed and you could see that I've used that uh, database host which actually points to to this uh, this database instance and the uh, nice thing is that that uh, database uh, hostname like db.majestic.local is accessible only from within my VPC and no one can access it from the outside uh, uh, by that uh, um, by that uh, domain name so even if someone could uh, learn that and uh, the credentials to your um, to your um, WordPress site he cannot uh, log in only he can, could only log in from your uh, VPC but not from outside of it so this is it for today I hope you liked this video if you did click on the like button subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon uh, with another video uh, here on majestic.cloud have a nice day